The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, is a large-scale project that has generated significant interest and debates. It is essential to grasp the fundamentals of this project before exploring its implications and consequences. The GERD is situated on the Blue Nile in Ethiopia. The Nile, the longest river in the world, is of vital importance to numerous African countries. It provides fresh water, natural resources, and plays a central role in economic activities and the livelihoods of riparian populations. The GERD is designed to be one of Africa's largest dams, with massive storage capacity. It is intended to generate a significant amount of electricity. Once completed, the dam is estimated to have an installed capacity of over 6,000 megawatts. Its location on the Blue Nile allows Ethiopia to reap economic and energy benefits from the use of this natural resource. The project's objectives are manifold. Firstly, it aims to meet Ethiopia's growing electricity demands by increasing its hydroelectric production capacity. This would stimulate the country's industrial development and improve electricity access for its citizens. Moreover, it offers potential benefits in terms of flood regulation and water resource management. By storing water during the rainy season, the dam can reduce flood risks and allow better management during periods of drought by releasing water in a controlled manner. However, these potential benefits must also be examined considering the concerns and interests of downstream Nile countries such as Egypt and Sudan. The consequences of the geard on water supply and agricultural uses in these countries can create tensions and require thorough negotiations. The geard has raised concerns and interests among Nile riparian countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan. These countries have diverse interests related to Nile water use and are directly affected by the project's repercussions. Egypt, as a downstream country, heavily relies on the Nile for its freshwater supply. Egypt is concerned that the dam's impact may reduce the flow of the Nile, particularly during periods of drought, affecting its agriculture and water needs. Egypt has expressed opposition to any unilateral use of Nile waters without prior agreement. Sudan, on the other hand, is both concerned about the GERD's impacts and sees potential opportunities. The country is downstream of Ethiopia, but upstream of Egypt. Sudan can benefit from more effective flood regulation and improved water resource management due to the presence of the dam. However, it also has concerns about the dam's safety and stability and potential negative effects on ecosystems and local populations. Negotiations among Nile riparian countries have been a key component in attempting to resolve tensions and reach a mutually beneficial agreement. Discussions have taken place to address issues related to water resource management, Nile flow regulation, and mechanisms for equitable water sharing. However, these negotiations have often been complex and faced differences in opinions and priorities among the countries. The GERD has environmental implications that warrant particular attention. The dam alters the flow regime of the Nile, which can have consequences on the riverine ecosystem. Environmental studies are necessary to assess the impacts on biodiversity, aquatic habitats, migratory fish, and other species dependent on the river. Local populations and riparian communities can also be affected by the G-yard. The dam's construction may lead to the relocation of some populations living along the Nile's banks. Additionally, changes in water flow can impact agricultural practices, access to clean water, and the livelihoods of communities dependent on the river. It is a large-scale project that involves substantial costs. While the exact cost of the project may vary depending on sources and recent developments, estimates have been made to establish an initial budget. The initial budget for the GERD was estimated to be several billion dollars, around five billion dollars according to some sources, reflecting the complexity and scale of the project. This includes costs related to design, construction, material procurement, labor, and commissioning of the dam. It is important to note that these estimates may evolve as the project progresses and additional expenses may arise. The funding mainly comes from Ethiopia itself, which has committed to bearing the majority of the project's costs. The Ethiopian government has mobilized internal financial resources to finance the dam's construction. Specific financial contributions and funding mechanisms may vary based on agreements and partnerships established between Ethiopia and other stakeholders. Construction of the Giyard has made significant progress since its inception. Construction work is ongoing and has reached various key stages. 
This includes the construction of the dam itself, auxiliary structures, and the installation of equipment necessary for electricity generation. Nevertheless, the project has also faced challenges and obstacles. Building a dam of this magnitude involves technical, logistical, and environmental complexities. Encountered difficulties may include delays, geotechnical issues, funding problems, as well as concerns related to impacts on downstream countries. In summary, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a strategically important project in Africa with significant regional implications. We have examined regional issues concerning Egypt and Sudan, as well as ongoing negotiations among riparian countries. Environmental and social impacts of the Geard have also been addressed, highlighting the effects on the Nile ecosystem and local populations. The construction cost of the Giard is estimated to be several billion dollars, with the funding primarily coming from Ethiopia itself. Construction work is progressing, but challenges and obstacles have been encountered along the way. In the future, it is crucial to continue discussions and negotiations among the concerned countries to achieve mutually beneficial solutions and resolve potential conflicts. Monitoring developments of the Giard project both in terms of construction and environmental and social impacts, is also essential.